What's up guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video we'll talk about how to compress your PDF files, how to reduce the size of your PDF files. So yesterday I was trying to upload my PDF file onto some website. The size of my file was uh, more than 1 MB but the restriction on the website has like 1 MB size. So I couldn't upload the PDF onto the website. So then I realized, you know, I should show you guys how to actually reduce the size of your PDF files. So there are two ways to do that. Uh, one is the offline method, uh, which is uh, you can actually install some software on your computer and you can uh, reduce the size or compress the PDF offline. And the other is the online method. So you can upload your PDF files online and let the website do it for you. Both the methods have their own advantages as well as disadvantages, which we will cover in the end of the video. But before that, I'm going to show you three cool websites that actually let you uh, compress your PDF files online. So without wasting any time, let me uh, grab my computer and I'll walk you through. So I'm on my computer right now and these are the three websites that I'm going to demonstrate today. The first one is called sejta.com, second one is called pdfcompressor.com and the third one is smallpdf.com. So there are actually a lot of websites online that can actually compress the PDF for you but I found that these three websites work the best. I'm going to demonstrate this document that I have actually have uh, already on, on my computer. So as you can see it's a very generic document. It's about my mp3 player. The size of the document is 5.21 MB as you can see. I'm going to demonstrate compression of this PDF document. So let's go back to this website. So each of these websites has actually uh, their own advantages and disadvantages which we'll talk about in this video. So let's start with the stagera.com. I really like this website. The only downside uh, about this website is that uh, being a free service it actually limits you uh, compression up to document having 200 pages or the size of 100 MB and also three tasks per hour. So if you fit into this condition, you can uh, use this service free of charge. It doesn't even cost you anything uh, after you have completed the conversion and to download your document. So let's go ahead and upload our document. So just click on the upload PDF files or you can actually uh, click on the um, drop down arrow and select your document if, if, the, if that is stored in your Dropbox, Google Drive or it's on some web page. So since I have the document locally on my computer, I'm just going to click on the upload PDF files button. I'm just going to go on the folder location of my document and click open. So as you can see, it has uh, detected my document and there are some more options that I can select with this website. And this is the reason uh, why I like this, this website really the most because it actually lets you customize your preferences. If your document has like a lot of images, you, you can select, you know, the compression quality. Uh, you can actually select uh, medium, good or best. Best is like 100% of the quality of your images in the document. Uh, I've, I've seen that good is actually a good starting point. You can, uh, you can select good and, and then see how much size you actually want your document to be in. The next thing is the image resolution, PPI or pixels per inch. You can select 72, 144, 288 or 720 based on your preferences. Uh, 144 uh, should be a good starting point. You can also select your compression speed, regular or faster. If you have a document that is like really uh, heavy in size, I, I would say like maybe 100 MB or something, then you can actually uh, select faster. Otherwise, you can select regular uh, and save some time and just click the compress PDF button. After the compression has been done, it will actually give you some download options. So as you can see, my download is ready. So I, I can just uh, click on this download button and have my file, file downloaded on my desktop. Or otherwise, I can save it to my Dropbox account, Google account. Or I can share, you know, by email directly from here. Or, you know, there are different tasks that I can do from here as well. If I want my file to be deleted, I can just uh, click this trash icon and have it deleted. So let me demonstrate how to how you can download. Just click on the download button and you can download your compressed file. I'm just going to go back and rename it as Sejta Compressed. One more thing uh, which is worthwhile noting uh, about this website is that your files stay private and they and those are deleted automatically after five hours uh, from their servers so uh, but still i would suggest you should not upload any confidential document which is you know really uh, maybe like your credit card numbers your social numbers or you know something about your address or something or your pin or password or something please do not upload that even uh, if they say uh, the files stay private or they are secure 
please do not do that because the, your security is in your hands. Okay, so let's compare the size of the document. Previously, it was 5.21 MB and now as you can see, it is 1.07 MB. The file size is actually greatly reduced. Let's compare the other two options. The next one is pdfcompressor.com. What I like about this website is that it actually lets you upload and download um, your, your PDF files in bulk. That means if you have like more than um, like one document, one, one PDF file to compress, you can actually upload them together and you can actually download them together as well. The, the downside about this website is actually it doesn't let you customize uh, what setting you want. Uh, it is actually good in conversion. It can actually compress your file very uh, easily, but it doesn't let you select you know what options you want. But if you have like a lot of files, then do uh, do visit this. So let's test this website as well. I'm gonna select the same document, 5.21 MB. Select open. As you can see, it's it's uh, uploading. It's compressing right now. And as you can see, this, it says the file has actually compressed in size about 86 percent. So you can just cl uh, click here to download this file, or you can click here if you have more than one file to download all the files together. So I'm just gonna click this one and I'm gonna rename it as PDF Compressor and save it. So let's see how much the size is right now. It is 736 KB. So it is actually more reduced than Sejda, but I'm not sure you know how the quality loss is um, in this one. So I, I really like PDF Compressor if you have more than one document. Um, the only thing is it doesn't let you customize. The next one is smallpdf.com. It actually uh, is a great website also. It doesn't let you customize, uh, but, it, but it's, it's uh, easy to use. All the conversion is actually done on the, sh on the servers. And, and also, uh, it's secure as they say. They also delete your document every one hour. So, uh, you know, it's, it's safe. It's also integrated with your Dropbox as well as Google Drive account. So um, if you have document on your computer, so just select it from here, which I'm gonna do right now. So it's uploading. It's gonna compress after this. And when you are done, it will present you with the download link as well as some options. So as you can see, it's, the size has reduced to 691 KB from 5 to 5.22 MB. That is awesome. And you can click on this button to actually download your compressed file. And I'm gonna rename it as small PDF. And you can actually uh, save this file as, as a JPEG also, or start over, do another editing or upload to your other accounts. So this concludes our online conversion part and now let's talk about the offline conversion part. So if you're worried about uploading your confidential documents uh, online to uh, for your online conversion and you don't trust these websites, you can actually do an offline conversion using Adobe Acrobat. That's right. Adobe Acrobat actually lets you uh, compress your document uh, with their built-in settings. The only thing is that Adobe Acrobat is, uh, is actually not free. Most people use Adobe Reader which doesn't have this feature, but Adobe Acrobat has this feature, but it's not free. But if you have like, you know, a really urgent need about that, you probably can download the trial version and have it, you know, uh, just work on a document and have the trial expired. And also these websites also let you uh, download their offline converters. As you can see, it says, uh, you know, you can actually download their free trial from here. Sejda also, uh, you know, have your, uh, yeah, as you can see, Try desktop. You can you can actually download their offline converters on your computer, um, which I would not suggest uh, because those converters actually they are trial versions. They, they they will come with the ads, and when the trial expires, you you will be asked for charges. If you don't have frequent need and you are required to just convert a document once a while, just go go to these websites, and and do the conversion online. And now we'll talk about the uh, advantages of the online conversion. Well, as you can see, online conversion is actually done in the cloud on their servers. So your computer will not consume any any memory. It will, you know, keep running faster. Uh, even if you are working remotely or maybe on your phone or, uh, you know, any operating system, Windows or Mac or Linux, it doesn't matter because all the conversion is actually done through the website. And these websites are really easy to use. You can customize your settings and have your uh, file downloaded onto your computer. On the other hand, there are offline converters like you know uh, the free trial of small PDF or the, the free trial of the uh, Sejda PDF. You can you can download on your computer, but the thing is they are trial version. They will expire. They will come with the ads, or they will ask for money after you know the trial has expired. 
Well, the choice is yours and uh, this pretty much concludes the video. I hope this video was useful for you. And if you enjoyed watching this video, do give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because I'll be sharing more videos on the same lines. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next video.